Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi Erica, how are you? Sharon, Heather, enjoy your class when you get around to it guys. Awesome Bob, awesome. You know it is brilliant that you're here. Good morning Maria. So I'm gonna put that over there and then I'm going to let you in on the good news that I have found our old hit class that we did a long time ago. Okay, we're gonna do a warm up with our resistance band. Now we are actually going to start the warm up standing up. So I want you to grab your band and then stand yourself up beside your chair or in front of it, whatever's easier for you. Just remember that if at any point you do think you might need a little bit of balance help, make sure that chair or the wall or something is close by that you can use. All right, are we ready to go? Let's do this. Let's take the arms up, deep breath in, and deep breath out, take the arms back down. And again, keep the arms nice and long as you breathe in and lift up, lengthening and straightening the spine. And once more, breathing in. And this time we're gonna come down to about halfway. Make sure the hands are just below your shoulder line. And we're gonna to turn to the right. Just a small movement, because I don't want you to twist through the hips and legs. Around to the left. This movement should come through the waistline. And around again. And back to the center. Let's take those arms up again. Lift the shoulders as high as you can and then lower them down, relax. We're gonna breathe in as we come up. So we can breathe out and really lower those shoulders. Once more, breathing in and breathing out. Good, take your elbows and shoulders back, squeezing gently and release. Over to the side, squeeze the waistline, keep those arms up, and over to the other side. Good, back to the top. Gently take the elbows and shoulders back, and release, over to the side again. Just relax your neck, let the head hang, and the other side. Good, and back up. Shoulders down still. Tuck the chin to the chest, pull the elbows out to the side and bring that elastic down to your head and stretch up again. And down. And stretch up again. And down. And stretching up. Good, and arms down. All right, without collapsing, give your arms a good little shake there. Okay. Just bring the arms out a little, not too high. We're going to rise up, get those legs moving, those feet working. So again, if you need to balance, then you can just pop that elastic to the side and use your chair for balance. Up and down, working through the legs. Pulling right up out of the hip, nice straight spine. And last one. Good, all right, give your legs a little shake. That is all we're gonna do for our warm up. So we're gonna pop this down because I'm pretty sure it's not in there. Who knows, it might very well be. Um, that's all right. And I'm gonna give you 15 seconds to have a seat. We are going to be working through the legs to start with, so I need you to sit up nice and tall and keep thinking about drawing that belly button back you have. Two seconds left to go. <laughs> All right, let's start with the knee lift up. Three, four, five, other leg. Belly button gently drawing back. Now leg extension up. And two, three, four, and five. Changing legs up. Five, four, three, two, one. And right leg going out. And two, we're halfway, four, and five. And again, lift it out, two, three, four, and five. Now right leg up, then straighten up, then up and out, 
and other leg. Knee, straight leg, and open the hip, and down. Circle the hips, gently loosening that lower back, and the other way. Good, and sit up nice and tall. All right, let's go. Lengthen and lift. Two, three, four. I don't know why I'm counting. I'm not counting. We're going to do 30 seconds. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to do 15 seconds. That means we've got to change legs now. Up. <laughs> okay, going. Five seconds left. Belly button back, keep sitting tall. Good, right knee. Good work, keep going. Five seconds, belly button back still. Good, change legs. Breathing. Five seconds. Good, and circle the hips again. Gently loosen up. Other way. Good, all right. Five seconds and we're gonna repeat it all. Knee lift to start with for five. One, two, three, four, and five. Other leg, five, four, three, two, one straight leg, lift one, two, three, four, five, change legs, five, four, keep that belly button back, two, one, now we lift, we take it open, and two, keep it nice and still, the only thing moving is that one leg, once more, change legs, out, and two, and three, four. Now we do one of each of those movements on one leg. So we knee lift, leg extension, and open up. Other leg, knee lift, leg extension, and open up. Good, that's a full minute. Circle the hips. Other way. So you're 15 seconds of these hip, uh, hip circles here. And then we're going to lengthen out that leg and we're going to lift and up. Remember the longer that leg is, the heavier it's going to feel, okay? Now you can feel it working through here, but you want to feel it through the inner thigh as well. Perhaps this is working so hard that you can't feel it. <laughs> if your back is getting sore, then make sure, oops, let's change legs. <laughs> your back is getting sore, make sure you sit and use the backrest of your chair, okay? You want to keep sitting nice and tall. I'll have to go over time on this side. Good, now our knee lift, right leg, just the knee lift. So the leg's a little bit closer now, your foot's a bit closer, you can feel that it's a little bit lighter. Belly button is drawing back. Change legs for 15 seconds. My phone keeps going into the power save mode. It starts to go dark and you know it's gonna switch off and you won't be able to see anything. Five seconds left. Good job. All right, those legs should be feeling like you've worked them now. So let's do a couple little circles in each direction. Good. Let's stretch that right leg out and I want you to really push through that heel. Bring the knee up and push through that heel. Take it down and again, stretch. Make sure you can feel that behind the knee there. And take it down. All right, sitting up nice and tall. We are gonna grab our weights. So far, so good. All right, so we're gonna do 30 seconds of biceps, then 30 seconds of triceps, okay? If your neck starts to get sore, Please stop, have a rest, okay? Arms down by your side, you've got 10 seconds until we start. So make sure you're sitting up nice and tall, belly button gently drawing back, feet flat on the floor, and off we go. We're not swinging the whole body, just moving those arms. 
We are not completely straightening those arms either. We want to keep those elbows slightly bent. Of course, if you get to the point where it's getting really hard to lift those weights, you can always bring them halfway. You'll be glad to know you've got five seconds left here. Keep breathing. Good, keep the back of the neck long. Let's turn the palms in. Let's hinge just slightly, not too much. Elbows back and stretch, stretch. Now we don't want to lift those shoulders to the ears because if we start to do that, we're going to get really tight in the neck. We also want to make sure that by now you know what you're doing. You should be looking down at the floor, not out at your screen. Keep going, we've got five seconds left. Belly button back. Good, bring those arms down by your side, chin to the chest. I want you to roll yourself down towards the floor. Keep your neck relaxed. Switch everything on and roll back up to the top and stand tall, sit tall even. Elbows out, right arm pushing up. Keep it nice and strong. We're just doing 15 seconds of these ones and then we're gonna do 15 seconds on the other side. Five seconds left. Let's go other side. Good, you can always drop those elbows a little bit if you need to take some of that weight out. And again, if it's hurting the neck, make sure that the neck is long. You don't wanna be looking upwards. You were better to look downwards. Good, keep going. All right, both together for 15 seconds. Up and up. If this is too much, just stop, have a rest. I know it's getting harder now. Those weights are getting heavier. Good, and take it down, elbows in, arms onto the legs. Loosen up the shoulders, take your arms by your side, drop your chin to your chest and roll down. And roll back up, sitting nice and tall. Good. So we're gonna repeat the biceps and triceps. Of course, if you need to, you can pop the weights down, all right? But we do wanna feel those muscles working. Five seconds and then we're going to start. Let's go, curling. Sitting nice and tall, use the backrest if you need to. Remember, you can come just halfway, okay? But you can also stop for a bit if you need to as well. You've got five seconds left. Remember, we want to keep the back of the neck long as we lean forward slightly, elbows back and just stretching. We're not swinging the arms here, so be really aware of what you are doing. How time flies. That's 15 seconds up. Come back to the centre, roll down. and roll back up again. Good, all right, we're gonna bring the hands in front of us this time, open the chest. If you need to stop, make sure you do. 15 seconds can go quite quickly sometimes. Let's take it down, arms by your side. Let's roll down again, relax your neck. Make sure that belly button is back as you roll back up. And sitting nice and tall. Good job, all right, give it a really good shake. If you can, just rest your weights on your legs. If not, just pop them down on the floor. Sit nice and tall, take your right arm out to the side, bring it across the body, gently pull it towards you and open it out and take it down. Other arm, take it out to the side and across the body, and then hug it in towards you. And open out and down, take your arm up above your head, drop your hand to your neck. And if you can, walk your hands down your spine, trying to get that elbow closer to your head. And then up and around, other side up. Hand drops to the neck. I'm going to use my hand to try and walk my hand down your down my spine and bring my elbow in close. And all the way out. Bring the arms forward. Open the chest and release once more. Squeeze back. Stretch the front and arms down. Good. Okay. Are you ready to stand up? 
bring your weights with you. Now we are going to do a few squats. So if you need to stop because of your knees, make sure you do, okay? If you go too deep, it's going to put more pressure into your knees. Okay, so we are going to do some rises in between as well. Make sure your chair is there. We're going to have our toes pointed forward, feet about shoulder distance apart. Now keep your weights close to you. Bend your elbows, bring them into the chest as you come down. Down we go. Belly button back. Stand up nice and tall at the top. Don't worry, we're only going to do 15 seconds of these. I won't put you through 30 seconds. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it can be. Good, let's come up. Let's turn the feet out, make your stance wider. Bring the arms up in front of you and down we go. Keep your shoulders down, chest open. Try and keep your back upright if you can and pull those knees right back over the toes. So much to think about. <laughs> Lucky I keep reminding you. Good, coming up. Okay, I'm just gonna pop one hand on my chair for balance. The other hand is away from the body. Let's rise for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, okay, let's do that again. Take the feet out. Down we go. I'm doing about 15 seconds of each squat. There is a little bit of rest time in between. <laughs> Good, last squat. That's it. So as we change positioning, that's sort of the rest time. <laughs> Bring the arms up, keep your back up, and off we go for another 15 seconds. So it's taking about 10 seconds to change position. <laughs> keep the chest open, belly button gently back still. Nearly there, a couple more. Good, coming up. All right, bring those legs in. Hand onto the chair, other arm strong, and we're rising up. Pulling right up nice and tall. Good, all right. Give your legs a little shake. Pop your weights down on the floor. Find yourself a space by a wall so you can do your push-ups, okay, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so you want your push-ups, we're going to do push-ups and then we're going to hold, no, we probably won't hold, but we'll do some stretches and then do tricep push-ups. So we're going to do a minute of push-ups, how about that? Alright, get yourself into position because you have 10 seconds left till we get started. Hands out wide on the wall, step back away from the wall so you're ready to go. And in. Now remember, there should be no pressure in your lower back, number one. If there is, I want you to just step in a little bit closer to the wall. Make sure you are connected, that pelvic floor is lifting, your belly button is gently drawing back. Now as you move, you should not be bouncing in and out off the wall, okay? The hands should be flat on the wall the whole time. You should be starting to feel that by now. If you find it gets too much, don't go in as far. Or again, you can always step in a little closer. So we're up on our toes as we're doing this. Keep going. It'd be really good if I could remember where we started, eh? I'm going with 15. 15, 10 seconds left. <laughs> Oh, I should pay more attention to what I look at. It's hard when I'm talking. All right, feel those arms working. Turn around. If you can't see me, make sure you can hear me. I want you to shake those arms out. I want you to lift your arms, both of them up above the head. Lift your shoulders to your ears and then lower your shoulders back down. Bring your arms forward so they're out in front of you. Turn your palms to face the floor. One arm goes up, one arm goes down, and we gently push the, the arms back behind us. Back to the centre and change arms. Push back and back to the centre and push back. And back to the centre and push back. 
Good, back to the center, open out, squeeze and release. All right, give it all a shake. We're going in with our tricep push-ups this time. It is gonna be a little harder, so listen to your body. You have five seconds left. Hands in close, elbows to the floor and up on your toes. Are you ready? Off you go. Try and hug that rib cage with your elbows. See the elbows are pointed to the floor. The neck shouldn't be getting tight at all. If it is, it probably means your shoulders are lifting to your ears. So you just gotta draw them back down again. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again, if you can feel it in your back, step in a little closer. We do wanna feel the back of the upper arm warming up, our angel wings warming up right now. Okay, that is a good pain. You have 20 seconds, not even 20 seconds, 15 seconds to go. Okay, our pain is good if it's in that muscle there. 10 seconds. Nearly there. Good, and relax. All right, come on back so that you can do your stretch again. Shake those arms out. We're gonna go back to the tricep one. Arm comes up, hand comes down to the neck. If you can't use your arm to pull it across, then walk your hand down your spine and get that elbow as close as you can to your head. We should be stretching gently through there. Let's release that and change arms. And again, pull that elbow as close to you as you can. One minute of tricep push-ups is quite tough on those arms, but if you could, if you manage to get through to a whole minute, you are going to notice a difference if you can do that quite often in that tricep area. Let's open and take the arms down. I want you to take your feet nice and wide now. Bring your right arm up and over. And back to the center, other side, up and over. I'm using this hand on my leg to help support me. And back up, good. Shake those arms out really well. All right, what's next? What time is it? 20 past, plenty of time, okay. All right, we're gonna sit down again by the looks of things. Have a seat, everyone. If you need a drink, grab yourself a drink before we go any further. How are you feeling out there? You'll have to let me know after class how you got on with this. All right. So, We've got our C-curve movement. Now the biggest thing with this is that you really need to focus on that tuck, okay? So as well as that, we're going to do some of our twisting, right? So you need to be able to try and coordinate that. All right, we're going to start with that one. If your arms have had enough of being up here, then you can just do one arm. In fact, let's do that, it might help you focus on which way to go. Right arm out to the side, left knee is coming up and towards each other. All right, are you ready? Let's go. Across. Make sure you're getting that tuck, that belly button pulling back. We're going to do 30 seconds on this leg and then we're going to change. Now, of course, if this hurts your back, I want you to leave your leg on the floor. You can do it without the leg lifting, okay? You've still got to get that twist. Feel like you are turning. Nearly there. Turn to the side. Good, and change. Ready? So 30 seconds should be enough for some of you to pick up the movement and get it going in the right direction by the time you get to the end of 30 seconds. <laughs> Make sure you are pulling that belly button back. You've got 15 seconds remaining. We want to feel that tightening in the center there. We want to feel it working through the obliques, the sides of the abs as well. Five seconds left to go. That went a bit fast, didn't it? Good. All right, sit up nice and tall. We're going to do our little C curves and sit up. And a C curve, and we're going to sit up. 
and again and sit up and once more again and sit up all right I want you to scoot your bum to the front of the chair lean back bring the legs in belly button drawing back right leg is going to lift first are we ready and go right leg and up and up make sure you keep pulling that belly button back as you move don't just get comfortable in this position and start to sag <laughs> let's change legs lifting up belly button pulling back each time so if you can try and breathe out as you lift your leg right leg again belly button pulling right back towards the spine five seconds left on this leg good change your legs again belly button back you've got to really keep that focus in the center there otherwise it's not the same exercise five seconds left good that's it all right sit up nice and tall little c curve and lift little c curve and lift and again and lift and again Good job, let's take that right arm up and let's twist again. Remember you don't have to use your leg, your leg might be getting tired now, or the hip area I should say. It can affect the back as well, or the back can affect the hip, so they work together. Make sure you're getting a tuck and leave that leg on the floor if you need to. Good job, let's change sides and across. And across, twist the body, tuck the belly back, arching the back into a C shape, lifting the leg if you want to. You can do a few with, with and a few without. You've got about 10 seconds left to go. Good job, nearly there. All right, little C curves, just a small movement just to make sure that we are activating properly. We are lifting that pelvic floor as we sit up nice and tall. Five more seconds and then we're going to lean back. Off we go, lean back on the chair, scoot that bum forward, belly button back and right leg. Five seconds left on this leg. Good, changing legs. Remember, you don't have to get it too high. The lower it is, the easier it's going to be, not just on that leg muscle, but the hip area as well. Okay, a few more seconds. Good, back to the first leg. Belly button sinking back. Make sure you haven't just collapsed in your chair here. I know it looks like a good collapsing position. We don't want to be doing that. Okay, changing legs again. We're nearly there. Don't worry, you don't have to do this one again today. A few more seconds. Good, all right. Sitting up again and little pelvic tilts. Little pelvic tilt. Belly button drawing back. And again, and again. Good, all right. Make sure you are ready to go again. Okay, so it says C curve with a leg lift, which is very similar to what we just did before. That's this one here. And then oblique. Hmm. I'm trying to think how I can change it. I might actually get you to stand up. Let's do some standing up exercises again. I know you like standing up exercises. Chairs there for balance if you need it. Make sure you're not gonna step on anything. This is gonna be the last one and then we're gonna have a really good stretch and release, okay? So, I'm gonna give you 25 seconds, okay? We're going to lunge 
back and in. Okay, gonna do that for 15 seconds on each leg. Let's go. Right, right, right. Good, keep going. 15 seconds isn't too long. We're nearly there already. Good, now we're gonna change legs and back. Remember, you wanna try and keep your weight over that front leg, making sure you don't bend too deep if it hurts your knees. We're gonna go back to that right leg again. Let's go. Changing legs, belly button, drawing back, keep your control. Make sure you're standing up between each one as well. Don't finish still bent over. <laughs> Nearly there. All right, let's change legs again. Back to, you'll be glad to know that once we've done this, it's a full minute. Five seconds. Wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> good. Give those legs a really good shake there. Take a lunge, push that heel into the floor, feel that stretch in the back of the legs. Deep breath in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth. And bring it in, change legs, push that heel into the floor. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good. Bring it in, shake it out. Okay, leg swing, so make sure you're clear around you. Right leg to start with, okay? I know my right leg keeps changing. All right, ready to go? Take your right leg out, one. I'm not gonna count. We're gonna do this for 15 seconds, so you need to keep pulling up out of that supporting leg. You got five seconds left to go. Standing nice and tall. Good, changing legs, pull up tall. Don't sink into that supporting hip. Control, five seconds to go already. Good, take your right leg forward. Keep it as straight as you can, but each time that heel comes into the floor. That means you're lifting out of that supporting leg, which is what we want to do. Good, let's change legs again. Still pulling up nice and tall. Controlling that leg movement so it's not too high. You don't need to be a ballerina. Five seconds. Good, and shake it out. How's that butt? All right, I'm going to take you to take your feet about hip distance, shoulder distance apart. Bring your arms into a pistol grip. I want you to push your hip to the right and then just lean away. You don't have to go very far, but it is really important that when we release, we pull the hip in first. Okay, let's push to the other side, lean away. Remember, we've got to pull that hip in first to come up, pull it in. Once more to the right and lean away. You can feel that stretch through the side of the hip, yeah? Pull it in, last one, over. Good, and pull it in, and arms down. Good, give your legs a really good shake. Okay, I want you to rise up now. Bend your knees forward. Push those heels into the floor. Get that stretch in that Achilles area that's right down here, and stand. The knees are not touching as you do this at any point. And stand. And rise. And bend the knees. Lower the heels. And stand. And rise. Bend the knees. Lower the heels. Stand once more. Up and bend and heels. Let's reverse it now. Bend first. Up on the toes, right up on those toes. Stretch out those legs and lower. Bend the knees. Up on the toes. Stretch the legs and lower. Bend the knees. Up on the toes. Stretch the legs and lower. And last one. Up on the toes. Stretch the legs and lower. Good job. All right, let's go back to our lunge we did before. So take one foot back, push that heel into the floor. Again, make sure you've got that stretch down the back there. 
you can't feel it, bend that front knee a little bit more. All right, now at the same time, we wanna make sure our back is upright. So just give that butt a tuck and just a little bit because we don't really want to straight uh, bend that back leg. We want to keep that back leg straight. But at the same time, you can feel the hip opening gently. And if you can't, it might not be tight, okay? All right, let's bring that back leg in and change legs. So we're pushing that heel into the floor. And if you can't feel much stretch, just bend that front knee a little bit more, keeping that heel on the floor at the back there. Open up the hips a little bit. Good. So Erica, just a point on Fridays. This is the I assume this is the one that you're doing when we're on our knees doing the same thing. So as long as you're getting that stretch here through the front of the hip, you're doing the same. Pretty much the same thing. Okay. So it doesn't really matter too much if that back knee is bent a little bit. Just really focus on tucking that bum under as much as you can. Okay, let's have a seat. You can stop the stopwatch now. Sitting up nice and tall. I'm just going to sit towards the front of the chair to start with. I'm going to do some big, big, big circles here. So as we sink backwards, we don't want to rest on the chair. So you do need to come forward a little bit. Let's go the other way now, circling it around. Really feel that working through the pelvis and the spine. The belly button draws back towards the spine as you tuck back, leave and as you push forward. Good, let's sit up nice and tall. Let's tuck, lean back a little further and hold. Feel the tummy muscles work there. Sit up tall again, tuck, lean back and hold. And sit up nice and tall. And again, tuck. Good, and sit up nice and tall. Okay, place the hands into your lower back, fingertips facing the bottom. You're going to lift up out of the hips and tilt back a little bit so you can feel the squeeze round about where those hands are sitting. And back to the top again, relax your arms by your side, drop your chin to your chest and relax your neck. And deep breath out, roll it down to the floor. Take your breath in at the bottom, keep your arms and shoulders relaxed and roll back up to the top. Sit up nice and tall. And again, down we go, chin to the chest, deep breath out all the way down, one long breath. The arms are relaxed, just hold it here for a moment. Allow those arms to sink towards the floor as you breathe deeply. You can feel the shoulders rolling forward just a little as well, not forcing them. Gravity is taking them there. Same with the head. Gravity is pulling it towards the floor. So I'm lengthening the back of the neck. So try to look back at your belly button if you can. All right, as we come up, that belly button needs to draw back so that we lift everything, switch on, and sit up nice and tall. Good, just make sure you're balanced before we go any further. Take the right arm up, and we're going to tilt over. Just want you to get a stretch along the side of the body and maybe even into that arm a little bit there. In case you've got to keep that butt on the chair. Lift up out of the hips, take that arm down, other one up, and over we go again. Relax your neck, let the head just drop towards your shoulder. And up again. Good, bring the arms forward now. And we're gonna roll the shoulders forward. I want you to really try and stretch that upper back there. Keep your arms long, move your shoulders only to take them back and down. And again, forward with the shoulders, long arms stretching, like you're reaching for something. And take it back, down, opening the chest. We're gonna take it back and squeeze again, just gently. 
and then release the arms to the front and again open and release back to the front and once more open and release back to the front good and take the arms down now just lift those shoulders to the ears and lower lift the shoulders to the ears and lower and we'll do one more good now the head the chin comes down to the chest the chin goes to the ceiling. Chin goes back to the chest. Chin up to the ceiling. And forward. Look over your right shoulder. Round to the left. Again, around to the right. Around to the left back to the front. Drop your ear down. Up and over. Up and over. And up and over. And back to the top. Good. You're still sitting nice and tall. Once you take a deep breath in, bringing those arms up. Breathe out. Take your hands to your ears. Breathe in, lift your shoulders nice and high. Breathe out, lower them all the way down. Don't finish breathing out until those shoulders are down. Breathe in gently, open the chest. So those elbows only just go back. Breathe out, take it down again, up. Sitting tall, breathing out. So even as you breathe out, you've still got to keep sitting tall. Breathe in, breathe out, shoulders down. Breathe in, gently opening. And deep breath out. All right, well done, we're finished, yay. <laughs> well done everyone, good work today. How do you feel going for a full minute on certain exercises? I mean, I think we generally go for a while, but um, we usually mix it up a little bit more so that you're not doing one exercise for as long, okay? But um, it's just another way of doing it so that you can make sure you get into that point where you can feel those muscles working and you hit that wall that's made going, no more, no more, and you're gonna keep going, yes more, yes more, and you're gonna push that wall back so that you don't keep plateauing all the time, but you slowly progress a little bit. And it's hard to do um, with certain movements, especially if you've got an injury or something in an area. Um, so we do have to still listen to our body and know the difference between pain and working muscles. And they are different for whoever out there is saying <laughs> working muscles is pain. <laughs> they are different. Pain, we're talking about nerve pain or um, straining, which is generally soft tissue, so ligaments and tendons, okay? Not so much the muscles. The muscles can tear and repair, tear and repair, okay? But tendons and ligaments, they don't repair. They repair, but they don't repair back to where they were before. You can't um, get ever, once you've damaged it, you can't ever get it back to the way it was. And of course, we're using our body every day, okay? So we are always using it, and those sorts of things will have wear and tear from just being used, okay? So you do have to keep all of those things in mind, but we wanna make sure that those muscles are strong. Otherwise, the joints where the soft tissue join are going to get really sore and we get things like our arthritis or we just have pains in the knees where the tracking might be off or whatever might be going on through there with the soft tissue. So think about that, listen to your body and make sure it is muscle aching that is what you're feeling and not pain. Have a good day, speak to you soon, bye.